Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, we will go over how to create wires and cables with the Sweep Mesh tool in Maya. This is sort of an update to a previous video I had on this topic, since now we have better tools at our disposal. This will work if you have Maya 2022 and onwards. And if you wanted to follow along, this exact project file is available on Patreon, along with a bunch of others. Cool, so what you're going to want to do is draw out a bunch of wires with a curve tool, it doesn't matter which one, here I use the CV curve tool, but it's just my preference and the tool I find easiest to work with. Cool, so assuming you're all done and dusted with that, select your curve, or in my case curves, you can do this to multiple at a time, and since I want these all the same size, I will just select them all, and head up to create, sweep mesh. If you don't see this, you might need to enable it in the plugin manager, just search for sweep. Right away, we don't really have what we want, but what we can do is just adjust the scale profile to something which is gonna better work for your needs. So probably something like this will work just fine here. The default interpolation is set to precision down here at 75, and this is where we set the resolution you want. So if you want to just get into a better position to see the actual topology, now grabbing the slider, we can just adjust this to get the amount we want. Let's go with a nice round 60. There are some other modes to try out too, but depending on what you're doing, you might find adjusting the precision to work just fine. Something to note is that toggling optimize can be a good way to reduce topology and sort of add edges only where it is needed. This will make your edge flow uneven, which is something to bear in mind. Cool, so even once we've done all this, we can then go in and adjust our curves to make changes to our wires. It can be a little fiddly to get to. Hold down the right mouse button and go into control vertex mode, and then we can interactively move our wires around however we want. Like many other tools, deleting history will remove our ability to make further edits, but once you're happy with things, let's go ahead and hit delete history. You can always just keep your curves hidden in case you need to make any further changes in the future. That is everything for this one. If you wanted to pick up these scene files to have a play around yourself, head to my Patreon to grab the downloads and check out the other cool perks. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.